Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing very well. Today we're in the AGS 37 Vegan. We're looking at time on target attack. This is a function that allows us to navigate waypoints and arrive on a target waypoint at a set game time. This means we can have many different Vegans or a collaboration of Vegans and Hornets and other planes fly from different bases, go different routes, but put their bombs on the target at the same time. It's something we're learning to do a lot in DCS now as we get a bit more realistic. The Vegan system is quite complicated. We're going to show the easiest variant of it just to keep it simple and the variant you're going to use most of the time. So here's a Vegan. I'm going to talk RC through it as well. And we want to go and bomb these guys on this island about 40 miles away. We need to set some waypoints. Waypoints we can set as you know in the mission editor or we can plug it directly into the CK37 on board computer or we can use the F10 map in game but just super simple. Let's just use this. I'm gonna add waypoint. I'm gonna add my first waypoint say there. With a waypoint I must assign a speed. Time on target means as well as direction distance you must have speed. So this is gonna be a knot or Mac. I'm gonna make it Mac 0.6. 391 knots might be a little bit fast actually. Let's make it a Mach 0.5. Next, I'm going to add another waypoint. We're going to make it as hard as we can to you know, show how difficult this can be, but how it's possible to overcome it. So waypoint two is going to be there, and I'm going to change the speed associated with that there. So we're constantly going to be fluctuating speed as per our flight plan. Another waypoint is going to be up there, and uh, let's put that as Mach 0.6, shall we? And then finally on the target, and at the target, boom, it's going to be there. I want to be moving out. Uh, yeah, Mac 0.6 will be fine. So we've got four waypoints set up, speeds assigned to them. Out of interest, the mission editor here tells us that if we start the game at 12 noon, we'll be on target at those speeds at four hours, uh, sorry, four minutes and 30 seconds. Here I'll see, follow my commands, please. As usual, our master navigation or our master mode to BER, that means our navigation system to standby so we don't corrupt our navigation system. Next, I'm gonna look on the F10 menu. I want to be on that target. I want our bombs to be on the target at 12, 10. So that's 12, 10, 0, 0, local time. So next we need to input though that information from the mission editor, so the uh, waypoints and whatnot. So input your cartridge on the left. Once that's in, over to the CK37 uh, data entry computer. Go to in, ref, long lat, and type in 9099. Then on the waypoint selector hit LSSKU basically means waypoint zero. Wait until the CK37 shows six times zeros. That information is now in the computer. Now that uh, CK7 master knob to act pause and out into a neutral position. Next, the uh, target waypoint, which is Bravo 4, we need to convert into a tactical waypoint or a target waypoint. So back to the CK37, go to master mode tact, tactical, T-A-K-T -T, and in. And we are going to type on the numpad 9. That means convert something to a, a target point. And we then press on the waypoint selector B4. Okay, then back to act pause and out. We've now converted Bravo 4 to a target waypoint. Now click on Bravo, Bravo 4 on the waypoint selector. Confirm that the range to that is 37 kilometers. And it says Mike 4 at the top right. Confirmed. Back to beginning waypoint. LSSKU. Click that. All we've got to do is set our time on target now. So we're going to mask CK37 master selector knob left to TID, time on target. We now need to type in the time that we want the bombs to be on the target. And we want it to be on, uh, and input as well. So TID and input. We want it to be on 1, 2, so that's 12. And then 1, 0, so that's 10 minutes past 12. And then 0, 0. And then we're going to click on waypoint selector Bravo 4. We've now told the system we want to be at Bravo 4 or Mike 4 at local time 12 10 0 0. 10 past 12. Okay, I'll see, which gives us plenty of time. After that, stay on TID but go to out. Read the number that's on your CK37 display. 131. That is the amount of seconds before we are scheduled to take off that as that we can get onto the target Mike 4 at the selected time. Let's taxi to runway. Set your bombs up, SGO plan will do, and 10 meter spacing I suggest, but whatever you... Once we get airborne, I'm going to leave RC to his own devices, I couldn't be bothered to set him up with his own airport, but uh, we're going to fly independently, heads down, and we're going to see if we can arrive at the target at the same time. It may ask you to take off at a different time to me, it may ask you to take off at the same time. If we've got exactly the same route, it'll be the same time. 40 seconds to go, your master mode selector from BER to NAV, please. Six seconds. 
Yep, you're in time with me because you got the same waypoints. And I'm off. Oh, oh. <laughs> a bit rusty. <laughs> I'm a bit rusty, I'll see. <laughs> I'm okay. I'm okay. You're coming over it by me. There yep. you go. Right next, um, I'll customer on my rudder, but I'll figure it out. Um, next, we need to look at this number Bad. here. If it says a non-digit there, then we are that many seconds ahead of ourselves. Well, if we're ahead, that means we need to slow down. So I'm going to slow down. So we're going to slow down now, and you'll see that number will reduce. When we've got down to about zero, that means we are on time. And then we can increase speed to the desired Mach 0.55 or whatever it's supposed to be. So I'm still slowing down. I'm currently in Mach 0 0.3 something while I catch up. Still ahead. We've got to waypoint 1, uh, 9 kilometers to go. So plenty of time to get back on time. 10 seconds ahead, 9 seconds ahead. Okay, I'm starting to accelerate now. I want to kind of merge with the zero and then keep it on zero. And we've deliberately done a really hard course of lots of hard turns. Hard turns are hard to keep TO, uh, TID, uh, to keep your time on target with. So we want to uh, test ourselves. Right, I've pretty much got zero error. Zero seconds error now. I'm going to try and keep it on zero now. If I get into Mac 0.5 or thereabouts. Okay, Mac 0.5. And you can see I'm keeping it at zero error now. I've got two kilometers to go until I hit my waypoint. Plane's still flying funny, but never mind. And I'm going to hit waypoint. Now, next waypoint. If there's a big turn like that, burner on. You don't want to lose too much time in the turn. The TID does not compensate for this turning I do. It just does it mathematically, point to point. So you'll have to speed up a little bit in harsh turns like this. You can now see that I am behind time. I'm minus five seconds behind time. So I'm going to have to speed up now. I lost time in that turn. How's your error going, RC? Uh, about the same as you. Watch out, so I'm four seconds, seconds behind. One. And I'm a little further behind, but I'm behind you, so... Watch out. Two seconds behind. One second behind. Plane's still flying funny, but never mind. Okay, I'm bang on time, no error. And we're about to hit the waypoint, and... Hit the waypoint, burner on, next waypoint. Okay, my error is good. I'm zero seconds error. Waypoint three on the nose. I'm still zero error. I'm doing pretty good. What I've done is I'm interpolating the time during those big turns to speed up to how I, how much I need to think by how big the turn uh, kind of radius and curve is. Max 0.55 I am. Zero second error. This is going to be a big turn, this one. Oh dear. I'll see he's going ahead of time. I'm one yeah, second behind, no, power on. I'm right on time right Roger. now. Well, oh, just, you don't worry about me, you just keep on the time. I'm having problems with my HUD, so. All right, well, don't worry. I mean, yeah, you can do everything with the compass rows. Yeah, that's true. Okay, turning on to target again. Four seconds behind, wasn't concentrating. So I've got a really power now, stage three burner. Seven seconds behind, dang it. So I'm going to have to go full power to catch up now. There's a big turn, big looping turn. I lost a lot of... That's a lot of time there. Okay, I'm gaining time now. Target's on the nose. Setting up for the bomb. Five seconds behind. Four seconds behind. Three seconds behind. Two seconds off the power. Break out. One target. One time. One second ahead. Two seconds ahead. Ah, I couldn't quite get it, I'll see. Three seconds ahead. Bombs out. Pull away. Three seconds ahead. And that's simply because it was a really hard, unrealistically hard course that we had to do. Why does this sound so weird? Because we had to navigate lots and lose time and gain time. But I, within three seconds, I got those bombs on target. And that's about as good as my skill allows me. Also, it was a bit slow there. But to be fair, it was his first time going. That's the basics of how to use the time on target TID on the Vigan. There is some extra functionality, but that will do for now. Now, I hope that was useful. And see you later.